got some more things to show you about this uh, new digital that we have here at uh, Virtual Backgrounds. Sometimes you might have to make adjustments on the photos that you're using in the iPad or your iPhone to use as backgrounds. And you don't want to go back to the computer and come back and make those changes. Well, there's several programs out there that you can do this. One of them that I'm going to show you right now is Photoshop Express. It's, uh, I believe it's a free program for everybody, so that'll make some of you happy. There are add-ons, of course, just like anything else. But what it does is, for instance, let me take an image, and it's just a beautiful um, balcony, and you can enlarge it, look at it a little closer. But if you look right here, you can also see where you can make adjustments on this. Now, one of the neat things, it's got a uh, auto enhance makes a change automatically. You can keep that if you like it or you can change it back. Very simple. Uh, we have clarity here. We have vibrance so I can make it more vibrant. Eh, I don't really like that so we'll undo that. But here's um, some different ways to change the look but the one I would be interested in is going to black and white. Just that simple. It's now black and white. If I want a more contrasty and a little bit different black and white, there you have it. So we can do that very, very easily. And I'm going to take those and change them back. Then I'm going to go to where I have some more adjustments, where I can adjust the sharpness, the clarity, things like that. For instance, the clarity, it gives you some, a little more contrast, and it actually acts like a sharpener. So that's always good. We do have a sharpener that you can use, and you just slide it and get what you want out of it. Uh, of course, exposure. Well, you can darken this down, or you can make it way bright, whatever you need to do. So you can actually fix these images right here on your iPad with no problem. Now, one of the real neat things is, is the cropping and... Um, Excuse me, here's the cropping. Uh, you can crop any way you want. If you want it to crop, if you want to move this over here and crop here, you can do that. Let's say it wasn't straight and you're having a trouble looking at it because it's not right. Well, gosh, I can change that so easily. Makes it almost seasick. Now, hold on. Let me cancel that, and let me just undo that. Um, if I wanted to flip it, let's say I had my lights set up opposite, and I don't want to move my lights, no problem. I just turn it around, and now I have a different scene with the light coming in from my main light coming in from a different source. doesn't get much easier than that. Uh, there's some fancier ways of changing colors, turn it negative, uh, just add some afternoon sun in it, different things. So these programs are available. This is one of the easiest ones that I have found to make quick changes on your iPad. It's a great program. Don't hesitate to, to use it. You'll like it. Thanks.